<laughs> so th that's what I found myself doing. Yeah. Uh, so to me, it just seemed natural. You know, at the end of the day, the ultimate power is God. Yeah. And it just seemed natural to cry out to Him. So, so here you are crying out to God. What happened? Well, my, uh, my prayers got answered pretty quickly in the sense of at the time I was very close to having to be moving out of the house I was living in. Um, it was with my ex-wife now. And uh, I was asking for someone to live. I had no idea where I was going to live at that stage. So yeah, very, very quickly a house was provided that suited um, my costs at the time. It suited an area was decent and it was suitable for my kids to come and stay. And that was very, very quickly. That was answered you know, within a couple of months. Um, so. I cried to God, but that wasn't enough for me, though I dived headlong into spiritualism and the occult heavily after that. So, okay, even though, you, <laughs> I know. this is fascinating, <laughs> but, but it's life, isn't it? I, I mean, yeah. you know, because there are people sitting out there just having, maybe not with spiritualism or that, but, but we, we do these things, don't we? You cry out to God because you're in trouble, yeah. God meets your needs, yeah. And then you turn your back on him and, yeah. and, and go the <laughs> exactly, other way. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's no logic in that other than, you know, there is a warfare and there is an enemy to, to, yeah. to God. So, okay, you, 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 your marriage breaks up because you get your house, you're living out, and you still go headlong. Into, did, you, did you go further down than you've been a before lot, lot at that further, point? Yeah, a lot yeah. further. Um, because at this stage now, I'm, I'm now living on my own. My children were coming down every other week. So I'm living on my own, and I was literally filling my time with the occult, spiritualism-related stuff. I had a spiritualist church less than five minutes' drive away from my house, and I was going there every week and um, going to develop and groups that were going on there. It was a massive headlong, you know, dive downhill. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's how it went. <laughs> so. And in that, was there satisfaction? I mean, w was there contentment? Did you ever feel, yeah, I, f I found it, this, this is really what I want? Um, there, was two, there was two levels, really. There was one, personally, I felt, yes, the, you know, I'm developing now. My spiritual pathway at the time was really growing quite a lot. But uh, the other side of me was my life wasn't improving, as in the standards of my life and the, my feelings about life in general weren't improving. So the more I felt bad about my life and the way things were around my life, the more I dived into the spiritualism to make up for it. <laughs> Thinking that the deeper you go, the better it will be. Absolutely, yeah. And was it? No. <laughs> so. Okay, so here you are, diving deeper and diving deeper and diving deeper. Yeah. At some point, you get to the bottom and, you know, and the only way is up. How, yeah. how did that come about again? That, that was a couple of years later with another, for me, another stressful time with financial problems. Um, I'd been living off of credit, my credit cards at the time and anyone that's ever used their credit cards to uh, live off will know at some point it's all going to go wrong. Mm -hmm. And it did. And again, I was finding myself crying myself to sleep at night and I, was, I said, you know, God, I need help again. <laughs> you know? um, please help me. And again, once again, my prayer was answered pretty quickly. The right people were put in front of me to help me sort out these financial problems. But that really got me thinking about where I was at that stage. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I found myself thinking, well, he's helped me then. He helped me back when I was going through my divorce. He's helped me now, and it's, he helps me every time I cry out to him. And I cry out from my heart. And um, that started me then doing a little bit of research into God, Christianity in general. Um, and it was shortly after, or while I was going through those money challenges, that I actually, cont I actually got in touch with Laura via one of the websites and one of their um, forums mm -hmm. and uh, she gently coaxed me into certain things and I, I spoke to her about where I was and things like that um, and I also had Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on my door as well. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Good, but you, you never went down that road. No, I didn't, know. <laughs> um, so, so you're developing now your knowledge of Christianity. Yes. But True Christianity isn't just knowledge, is it? There's a reality. There comes a point. I mean, I think there's a contrast here. I feel there's a contrast here. Anyway, with, with spiritualism and with other occult practices, it is always of the mind, of the mind, developing, developing, developing. Yeah. There comes a point in Christianity where it's not just of the mind. It's of the heart. It's life. When did that happen for you? 
when did it get into my heart? Mm. Um, probably, I'm not saying, it was a gradual process. Okay. It worked, yeah. Like getting involved with spiritualism, it was a gradual process getting out of it for me. Yes. Um, some people I'm aware of, have, it's been very traumatic. In Laura's case, I think it was, um, from my understanding of Laura's situation, it was very, um, it was a hard fight. Yes. Um, getting, getting away from it. But for me, it was quite gradual because I was first, I was just looking into it on the internet, trying to find out more about it, and not accepting what I was being told. Um, I mean, I, I had some of my biggest challenges came from um, spiritual gifts. And I was okay. directly comparing what I was involved in yes. <laughs> with spiritual gifts that were talked about in, um, in, in the Corinthians, yes. yes. And, um, and I was going, well, you know, isn't this the same as this? And, isn't it? and Laura and some others were, were very good <laughs> and trying to explain that it wasn't, but I, at the time I still wasn't fully accepting, but I was open. Yes. For some, somewhere along the line, some, a switch in my head had said, Dink. Yeah. Time, time to start accepting something here, yeah. and uh, yeah. it was. It became a gradual process, and like I said, it helped with the Jehovah's Witness knocking on the door. And I told them that I was a spiritualist. I told them what I believed at the time about spiritualism, and they pointed me to Deuteronomy 18:9, and it talks about um, spiritisms and mediums yes. um, being detestable to the Lord. And uh, that I thought detestable. That's a pretty strong word. And I did some research on that again, and that that was what took me, that got me on the first steps into discovering my Christianity mm. and my faith. Right. And so, you, by the sound of it, you didn't have any major problems in getting out of spiritualism, or did you? No, I didn't. Right. It, it's stark contrast to a number of people I've heard about yes. that have had problems. Yes. Um, my biggest problem was what was going on in my head mm. about my belief system at that time um, and trying to change it around. Mm. Uh, and like I said, it was thankful to Laura and a few other people on the internet there that really did offer a lot of helpful information. Um, and it wasn't done in a, you're damn, don't do this. You know, <laughs> it was a very gentle, gentle, and I thank you for that. So yeah. um, it was a very gentle mainly because she knew where I was coming from right. and she knew the challenges that I would be going through and the thought processes that I would be trying to justify my actions by. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it was a gradual process, it wasn't a sudden change, it wasn't an, an overnight decision. Mm -hmm. And of course it, you've said it, it helps with people who know where you're coming from because they've been yeah. there and, and, and they've come out. So, um, Laura, interesting point comes up there in, in what basically is counterfeit. Um, because, you know, I, I know I've had spiritualists say this to me before. Well, spiritualism is, is, is in the Bible because you, you've got the gift of prophecy and, you, yeah. and, it, and you've got the gift of this. It, 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 is this a stumbling block to some uh, spiritualists that they say, well, no, these are gifts and I've got that gift and, and therefore that must be of the Holy Spirit? Yeah, definitely. And, and, and they can see that they can interpret the Bible in a spiritualist point of view and even say that um, you know the disciples or, or Jesus were just a classic case of a, a really good psychic, mm -hmm. a really good medium and do you know that a lot of it can be interpreted from their point of view and, and as you say it, it's it's just um, kind of gently saying well yeah it, it can look that way and you know, it can look that way but can I dig under the, the surface a little bit more and, and, and sometimes I say you know ask yourself 